What's good? I'm back again with another video. And today, you guys are gonna get a little peek into my skincare like medicine cabinet. And also, I'm gonna show you all of these supplements and things that I take to help my skin from the inside out. I'm wearing zero makeup, not even mascara, literally nothing. Um, I actually don't really know what the point of mentioning that was. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I was lazy today. So on the top shelf right here, I have all of my masks and serums and things like that. And then on the second shelf, I have some more serums that I don't really use. Um, I have my moisturizers and other stuff like my eye cream. And then I have my oil cleansers here. And then I have my water-based cleansers, some toners and things like that. So I'm gonna go through each uh, shelf and show you guys what I got. So this first item right here is the Crave Beauty Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. I freaking love this stuff. I mean, if you've <laughs> been watching my channel, you know like this is one of my holy grail, uh, mo um, not moisturizer, cleansers, because it's very hydrating. It contains matcha, hemp seeds, oats, almonds, vitamin B5, and sodium PCA. So it's a very hydrating cleanser and it has a pH of about five to six. It's very, it has like a really nice gel like jelly like consistency and it doesn't like strip my skin of its natural oils so I really really like this one um, and then ah! oh my gosh and then right next to that I have the soothing tea cleansing gel from then I met you um, if you guys aren't familiar with this brand it's basically Charlotte Cho of Soko Glam she started her own skincare brand and it's called then I met you it actually has a really cute story behind the name. Um, I'll link all of that information down below, but it's like really cute name. I just really love the concept behind it, um, but I actually haven't tried this yet. I have this and also the cleansing balm in my cabinet, just so that when I run out of this and run out of this, I will have something to use. But for now, this is just in here because I haven't used it yet, but I want to. Um, right next to that, I have a toner. This is like a hydrating toner, it's anti-inflammatory. This is from a Korean brand called Pyongkang Yur. I hope that's how you pronounce it. This brand in South Korea is very, very popular. Um, it actually came from like a, like kind of like a medical spa. Their products are geared towards people who have like skin inflammation and other like inflammatory skin concerns. And sometimes my face feels very inflamed, so I like using this. This kind of like is really, uh, calming and soothing for the skin. And then right next to that, I have this facial spray by Tower 28. This is a um, antimicrobial spray. Um, it only has three ingredients. As you can see, it has hypochlorous acid, which is antimicrobial. It has um, water, electrically, electrically charged water. And then it also has sodium chloride, which is, if you don't know, it's basically salt water. Um, this is really good for skin inflammation as well. Now, the thing with this is that you don't want to use this every day because it mess it messes with the um, bacterial balance on your skin surface. So I used to use this every day and I actually broke out from using it every day because it just messed with the bacterial balance. Because there's good and bad bacteria on your skin and you don't want to get rid of the good bacteria either. So this is good for using like once in a while, but definitely do not use this like twice a day because it made me break out. <laughs> um, I'll get to this in a second, but this is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash. I use this like once a week, once or twice a week, and this has 2%, I think it's 2%, yeah, this has 2% salicylic acid. And basically what I use this for is I use it to kill acne bacteria. So I only use this like once or twice a week. And the reason for that is because that's just what I found is the most optimal usage for my skin. Um, everyone's skin is different. Some people will need to use it more often. Some people will need to use salicylic acid less. Um, but in my case, about once or twice a week is really great to keep my breakouts at bay. And then I also have the Crave Beauty Kaleluya. Um, when I first received this product, I was pronouncing it incorrectly. I thought it was Kaleluya. <laughs> and then people were like, girl, it's Kaleluya, like hallelujah. And I was like, but this is a very, very gentle um, chemical exfoliant. It has 5.25% um, AHAs. Really great. Um, it's also really hydrating in addition to um, exfoliating your skin. So I really like this one. And then we're gonna go into this little, uh, like 
cup thing. So the first thing I have in here is the Summer Fridays jet lag mask. This is really, really great for like as an overnight sleeping mask or like a sleeping pack. It has a really, really nice texture to it, but it's not too oily or too creamy that it like interferes with oily skin. And then I have this three-in-one lip serum by a brand called Naturally Serious. Um, I think this is a Peter Thomas Roth brand. I actually don't really like this product that much. Keep in mind, this is literally a serum. It does not like keep your lips hydrated. It just like makes your lips feel nice, like texture wise but it does not keep your lips hydrated. So this is not a lip balm. It's literally what it says, a lip serum. And then this is actually a lip balm or like a lip gloss. This is the Tower 28 Shine On Lip Jelly. You guys, this is literally the best lip gloss that I have ever tried that is currently on the market. It is so freaking good. It has a really nice like jelly-like consistency, but it's not sticky. Like it literally absorbs into your lips. I think it contains like six nourishing oils but most lip glosses just like sit on your lips and it just like you know creates like a protective barrier or whatever but this one actually like absorbs really well into the lips and like really hydrates the lips and it lasts literally all day like I apply this at night the reason why this is in here is because I apply it at night and then when I wake up in the morning uh, my lips are still hydrated so I just keep this here and I just apply this after I brush my teeth and then going into the cleansing balm shelf um, this is the cleansing balm by Then I Met You. This is the living cleansing balm. It also comes with a spatula, but I haven't used it yet, so I can't really give you a review on that. Um, and then I have the Drunk Elephant Slay, Sly, uh, Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. I actually really like this stuff. At first I was a little turned off by it because of how thick the formula was, but it melts into like a really buttery consistency which actually makes sense because melting butter is in the name. <laughs> but it has like this really, really nice consistency. It melts entirely or completely into an oil and it's really great. Also, what I like about this is that the spatula has a magnet on it. So it just like snaps, you know what I'm saying? I really would like them to create a travel size version with the magnetic spatula. Drunk Elephant, if you're uh, watching this, um, let's make it happen, you know what I mean? Um, and then the next thing that I have is the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm by Pharmacy. I've talked about this so many times on my channel before. It is one of my holy grail um, cleansing balms. So that's there because it's a holy grail. <laughs> okay, let's switch hands. Whew. This is the Great Barrier Relief by Crave Beauty. This is a great serum for if you have a damaged skin barrier because it contains a bunch of um, like skin nourishing oils as well as vitamin B3 and ceramides. So the way that you use this kind of depends on your skin. You could either use this as a moisturizer, but what I did when I was using this was I just mixed like one pump with my moisturizer. And then this is the Peter Thomas Roth Hyaluronic Cloud Serum. I did like this stuff. The only thing about this is that it contains fermented ingredients. And what I learned very recently, like within the past two weeks, is that my skin is very sensitive to fermented ingredients. Um, it makes me break out. Otherwise, this is a wonderful serum. And if you don't have a sensitivity to um, fermented ingredients, I would highly recommend this hyaluronic acid serum because it was really great. Love the texture and it really hydrated my skin. It's just that my skin personally has a sensitivity to fermented ingredients. And then right next to it, I have my lip scrub. This is the peach lip scrub by Too Faced. And then I have my Laneige lip sleeping mask. And then this is the moisturizer that I've currently been using. This is the moisture cream by Pyongkang Yur. And then right next to it, I have, this is actually a cotton pad and it has this little pocket in here so that you can like put your finger in it and then like, you know, wipe your face that way. But I figured it would be a really great like spatula holder. So I literally have the spatula for my moisturizer in here. So what I like about this is it's really great for oily skin. The first ingredient is Coptis japonica root. And that is again, an anti-inflammatory and hydrating ingredient. There is no water 
um, in this moisturizer, which I really like. And I put this in my Instagram story and someone was like, oh, well, is it bad if there's water in your skincare products? And the answer is not necessarily. It's just that water is usually just like a filler ingredient. Um, so what I like about this is that the first ingredient is not water, it's actually an ingredient that will help, you know, benefit the skin. Like it's, it actually actively does something. So that's why I like this brand and this uh, moisturizer so much. Next, I have my Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Do you guys know my philosophy surrounding eye creams? I don't really think you need it. I have it and I use it, but I don't think you really need an eye cream. Um, and then I have, this is another moisturizer. This is the Dermy E Skin Restore Advanced Peptides and Collagen Moisturizer. I really like this one as well. It's very, very hydrating. This is great for combination skin. And then right next to that, I have the Dr. Dennis Gross C Plus Collagen Deep Cream. I actually don't really like this that much, so I'm gonna return it. And then right next to that, I have two natural deodorants. Um, this is the Tom's natural deodorant, and then this is the one by Biosance. Um, I do not like this one at all, and it's too late to return it, but there's something about the scent that doesn't agree with my natural body scent. It, it smells very bad, <laughs> but I really like this one, the Tom's one. This is the fresh apricot one. Do you guys say apricot or apricot? I kind of say both. It just depends on how I'm feeling at the moment I say it. <laughs> And then right next to that, I have a sulfur ointment. This is by De La Cruz. I actually use this on my body. I have, for everyone that doesn't know, but I've talked about it many times, I have a skin condition called Malassezia folliculitis, and I have it on my chest and on my shoulders. And this has really helped keep everything at bay. It smells like sulfur, unfortunately, but that's like a small price to pay for healthy skin. <laughs> uh, basically what Malassezia folliculitis is, is that it's an, um, it's a fungal infection of a hair follicle. So I, it's basically an overgrowth of fungus on my body, but it's a fungus that everyone has. It just becomes a problem when there's an overgrowth of it. So when some, when your skin's like natural flora becomes imbalanced, that's when skin problems start to happen. So that's why I started breaking out when I used this twice a day because um, there was an imbalance of good and bad bacteria. And for s some people are naturally like, I guess susceptible for having an overgrowth of certain like fungi or bacteria. For me, unfortunately, it is that Malassezia fungus. So that's why I use this to keep those breakouts at bay. I literally just like slather this on my chest, neck, and shoulders, and then I leave it on for like 15 minutes, and then I get in the shower and wash it all off. But I freaking love this stuff. It worked better than um, those uh, dandruff, anti-dandruff shampoos for me. Um, and then here I have my masks. This is a placards case. So this case was originally for like those toothpick floss, like those floss pick situations, you know? Uh, but I use it for all of my mask spatulas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then this is one of my favorite clay masks. This is the Bosha Matcha Magic Super Antioxidant Mask. I've talked about this so many times on my channel before. It is super hydrating um, despite it you know, being like a clay mask. Um, this is the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Detox Hydra Gel Eye Patches. These are actually literally just eye patches. I don't use these as often, but they are nice to have sometimes when I'm like super tired and my eyes feel puffy. These are two of my favorite masks from Fresh Beauty. This is the Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask. This one is really cool. I need to show you this. So it has like this really interesting texture. I don't even know how to explain this, but when I apply this to my skin, it feels like I'm dunking my head in a cloud. It is so soothing. The texture is so nice. It's just a really, really lovely mask. I like using this when my skin feels a little irritated. And then, ooh, this stuff is so cool. This is the Snail Bee uh, High Content Essence by Benton, which is a Korean brand. This has uh, snail mucin as well as bee venom, and both of those ingredients help it help aid in healing your skin. So if you have like inflammation, it helps to heal your skin. I've really been loving this stuff. I apply this before I apply 
um, any of my serums. So I really like this stuff. And then right next to it, I have my Hyaluronic Acid Serum by my esthetician. If you are black or if you are a brown person or person of color in the LA area, I would highly recommend going to Tracy. She is a magician when it comes to chemical peels on ethnic skin. You can check out her Instagram. She really knows what she's doing and I only trust her with my skin. <laughs> I really like this hyaluronic acid serum. It really keeps my skin hydrated, especially when I put this on top of my essence or after my essence. And then back here I have my Kate Somerville exfoliate, exfoliating treatment. And then here I have my Pink Kong Your Moisture Ampoule. I'm still trying to figure out what is like the most optimal way for me to use this because this is different from other ampoules. This one you actually apply after you've moisturized when usually ampoules are applied before or after serums. I'm still trying to figure out how often I should be using this, but I really like it so far. It really does keep my skin hydrated. Um, it's kind of like a sleeping pack almost. And then back here I have a Skin Dope by Josie Moran. This is argan oil with CBD. To be honest, I haven't really done much research on CBD, so I don't really know like the full effects of it or whatever or what it claims to do, but they sent that to me and I have tried it. And then this is the Briogeo uh, cold press castor oil. I use this, oh, I forgot to mention, down here I have my Grande Lash. This has helped my eyelashes grow so, so much. The thing with my eyelashes is that I have pretty long eyelashes, I just don't have volume and this has helped with the volume of my eyelashes. And then, ooh, after I apply this to my lash line, I also take my castor oil and I just apply this to the tips of my eyelashes to nourish them a little bit. What I like about this as opposed to the other castor oil that I got from Whole Foods is that this one has like a really nice pump and also it's travel friendly. Like this is much smaller than the one that I got from Whole Foods but I also like this, that this has a pump because you can really control how much um, castor oil you are getting on your eyelashes. So I really like that. Oh my god. Okay, so that was my skincare cabinet. Now let's go into the kitchen to look at my supplements and things like that. Ooh, I didn't clean this, so I don't know how messy this is gonna be. Oh well, let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. Okay, so basically every day I take um, these three supplements and then sometimes I take this throughout the day. So the first thing that I do is I take a prebiotic and probiotic supplement. This is from a brand called Seed and I used to take, um, if you watched my latest skincare video, I used to take the Hum Nutrition ones, but once I ran out of these, I decided to like look into other like probiotics to see like which ones perhaps my body liked better. I found this brand, I think on Instagram, and I went to their website and I really, really liked how transparent they were about their ingredients and how informative and educational their website was. Like they really tell you the benefits of probiotics and what they are, how they help your body, how they help your skin, how they help a bunch of different other things. Um, so I, I ordered these ones and I really, really like these so far. I definitely like these better than the Hum Nutrition ones just because um, this one is more biodiverse. It has more strains of um, probiotics and like different strains of probiotics, whereas this one is kind of like exclusively the Lactobacillus strains, which is fine I just like something a little more biodiverse so I really like these ones by seed and then I also take um, the essential for women multivitamins by ritual a lot of people ask me why I take multivitamins and it is basically because my chiropractor told me to also I have a history of like under and malnourishment so um, Taking multivitamins just helps keep my body balanced. And then I also take the Moon Juice Super U. I get a lot of questions about this. Um, this is like a daily stress management adaptogens pill. You take two capsules per day and I have noticed a huge, huge difference 
in my moods and it also helps to regulate like stress hormones like cortisol and things like that I noticed that um, when I do take these in the morning my stress levels are much more regulated like I still feel irritation I still feel annoyance I still feel anger and stress and anxiety and things like that but when I take these they really regulate them so like I, I still feel irritation but I'm not as irritated as if I didn't take these and the reason why this helps with your skin or as it claims it helps with your uh, beauty is because stress as we all know can wreak havoc on your skin it can manifest in into skin issues and inflammatory skin issues so um, this just helps you all around and I really love this stuff and you know the thing is if you find that they don't work for you you don't have to buy them again and then right next to this I have the well spray by the beauty chef um, this is basically like a spray that you spray into your mouth I think it's like three or four times a day and it basically has like bio fermented probiotics so you get your biodiversity throughout the day I don't do this every day but when I remember to I do <laughs> and those are basically all of the skincare products currently in my medicine cabinet or my skincare shelf and also all the supplements that I take daily to help my skin from the inside out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, go ahead to, you know, follow me on Instagram, you know, follow that IG, you know what I'm saying? And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace! I cannot snap on that hand. Peace!